What I love about Fiona's leadership style is her integrity and moral standards that she holds herself and others accountable for. I also really appreciate the way that she answers questions. She answers them mindfully, thoughtfully, considers things, and you'll see this here. And I ask her whether her personal values have actually changed over a period of time. I would say my personal values have got um, more pronounced yeah. as I've um, matured and aged. Um, but the difference now is I will say to myself, am I going to go to the wall over this? So, um, you know, when you're younger and less experienced um, and something really irritates you, you will react in a certain manner. And it might be the same value, but as you get a bit older, you work out, well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. I can solve this problem another way. Yeah. So I, you know, I still get, you know, I get really cranky every time there's a fraud issue or there's a, it becomes very clear someone has lied or misled somebody. I get really cranky about that. Because it goes that. against your personal values? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, so and, what would your personal values be? Oh, well, you be transparent, be open. Yeah. Um, you know, if bad things happen in life, if bad things happen, you say, oh, I'm really sorry bad things happened, I, I stuffed up, or, you know, you take accountability. Yeah. Yeah? I, no, I don't think my values have changed. I think I'm more articulate about what my values are now. Yeah. 40 years ago, I would have said, oh, that person, I get a bad vibe from that person. Yeah. Um, whereas now, I'll say, I don't believe what I'm being told. And if I feel strongly about it, I'll share that feeling with my colleagues. Yeah. Yeah, How do you yeah, think yeah. Um, that accountability is driven within an organisation? It has to be driven from the board and the chief executive down. Yeah. So if you, if you don't walk that talk, you don't get it. Most people actually want to do the right thing. Um, most people uh, behave honourably. The trouble is, if you are... Uh, you know, in an organisation and, and there is ambiguity or murkiness, you know, and this is what the Banking Royal Commission has been focused on recently, there's a lot of ambiguity about what was the most important thing. Was it looking after customers or was it um, hitting your profit targets? Yeah, that's right. And the evidence has, has been that it was profit targets came before customer focus. Um, and by definition, if, if that's happening at the top, that will drive behaviour down below every yes. time. Yeah. And you see that. The leadership that happens out of the boardroom, out of the, the C-suite, is what yeah. drives the values and the integrity of the organisation. Excellent. And, and it, it, you know, you need every executive and every manager needs to support the value structure. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So true, so obvious, yet apparently not. I believe this intrinsic level of integrity is a beacon for the very best leaders in business and in life. And I love the way that she brings this to life for us.